Morning, Michelle. Very busy already. A pinpoint weather alert in effect. It is going to be a damp couple of days. Here she is with the details. Yeah, today going to be kind of run of the mill situation. Okay. We've got just some lighter rain moving through this morning. It'll taper to some showers and drizzle. We're concerned about what's on the way for late tonight through Wednesday. A, a slow moving nor'easter developing. Our look right now at our hurricane barrier camera towards the highway. It's a dreary one. Roadways are going to be wet this morning. Temperatures running from the upper 40s to the lower 50s for most. Providence at 52. It's 48 in Smithfield, 51 in New Bedford, and 53. Degrees in Newport, while westerly is in the middle 50s. Here's our three key things. It's a stormy stretch ahead of us. We've got again showers that'll linger today, and then that nor'easter for Tuesday and Wednesday that'll bring rain and wind, high wind and flood watches both issued today ahead of the storm. And we've got to keep an eye on late week too. Be another system that impacts our area from later Friday into early Sunday. Our radar this morning going to be again showing off that rainfall right now. If we widen out the view, we take a look at an area of low pressure over the Midwest and another developing low pressure off the southeast U.S. coastline. These will combine to give us our slow moving nor'easter for Tuesday, Wednesday. It's going to pretty much stall offshore, giving us a prolonged period of both rain and wind. So here's the details on that high wind watch. It's in effect from from uh, Tuesday morning into Wednesday afternoon, gusts 45 to 55 miles per hour, leading to the potential for some wind damage and some power outages. The flood watch is in effect from late tonight into Wednesday evening. This is new this morning. It's been issued for Rhode Island and most of southeastern Massachusetts away from the Cape, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. So today, just kind of cloudy and damp. The steadier rain this morning will taper to some showers and drizzle. Winds will be out of the north northeast about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So our warm front as it continues to punch northward, may allow us to climb into the 60s for a time, especially south and east of Providence. Notice by 9 o'clock in the morning, some of that steadier rain is just tapering to some lighter showers. Want to widen out the view and show you what's happening with this developing area of low pressure as it lifts to the north and east. The rain tonight will start to fill back in, especially after 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening. So rounds of rain overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. You can see very heavy rain western New England in the morning. Storm of that shifting into our area. The day goes on, so rain. Moderate to heavy at times throughout the day on Tuesday. This is 8 p.m. on Tuesday. Watch what happens to this system. It starts to kind of drift back to the south and west and then finally starts to depart on Wednesday. So we do expect the highest impacts as far as the rain and wind go to be uh, Tuesday afternoon through Tuesday night. As far as the peak wind gusts, we're looking at 40. Uh, 45 to 50 mile per hour winds from Providence and points south and westward. So you get closer to Fall River, New Bedford, Newport, uh, even Bristol. We could see gusts 50 to 55 miles per hour. And then north and west of Providence into eastern Connecticut, winds in that area out of the northeast about 35 to 40 miles per hour. Rainfall amounts. So we are looking at a widespread amounts of two to four inches of rain. On the high end, some of our computer models are showing the potential for five or even six inches of rainfall between now and Wednesday. So that is a significant storm system for us. Not only are we looking at the potential for power outages, we've got street flooding possible as well as some river or stream flooding if we end up on the higher end of those rainfall amounts. So tomorrow, plan on just a stormy day, rain and wind. You want to make sure today that you take some time to secure those Halloween decorations or bring them in 8 o'clock uh, as we head into your Wednesday. Showers going to be lingering. Thursday looks like a dry day. Most of Friday may end up dry too, but we do have some showers late on Friday into Saturday. Sunday morning as well before we dry out. It looks like right now in time for trick-or-treating on Sunday evening.